Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. Kombucha is a fermented black tea or green tea drink that's growing in sales and in popularity. Now, under current law, a beverage is taxed and regulated as alcoholic under federal law if it contains at least 0.5% alcohol by volume. Kombucha generally falls under this threshold. However, it can keep fermenting after it's bottled as the yeasts inside continue to eat sugars. And as a result, it can sometimes come just above that 0.5% threshold by the time it actually reaches store shelves, subjecting it to taxes and regulations as though it was, you know, real hard alcohol. The thing is, in real life, nobody actually drinks kombucha for its alcoholic effects, low as they are. In fact, you would have to drink about 10 bottles of kombucha in order to equal the alcohol equivalent of one beer. So the Kombucha Act would stop taxing and regulating kombucha like beer or wine by more than doubling the alcohol by volume threshold before that tax kicks in, from the current 0.5% up to 1.25%. The House version was introduced by Oregon Democratic Representative Earl Blumenauer, while the Senate version was introduced by fellow Oregon Democratic Senator Ron Wyden. Now, supporters argue that a 1.25% alcohol by volume threshold would better reflect what people actually purchase when they are specifically seeking out or looking for an alcoholic drink. But opponents counter that kombucha is currently taxed and regulated as though it contains alcohol because, well, it does technically contain alcohol. <laughs> well, cheers. Mm. And that's pretty good. Of course, it's also not kombucha, it's fruit punch. <laughs>